bees. Some of you might think they're a nuisance, but they're actually one of, if not the most important insect in ensuring our survivability. And that's because bees are responsible for pollinating one third of the world's food. But in recent times, something strange has been happening. Bees are reducing in numbers, and that is putting millions of people at risk for food scarcity. One company, however, is making sure that food scarcity doesn't happen anytime soon. To bolster natural pollination by bees, PolyBee has created bee-like drones to improve yields in indoor and vertical farms when not all growers have access to these wonderful little creatures and to also ensure global food security. Cue the bee rolls. My producer made me do this. Cue the bee rolls. I spoke to Siddharth, the founder of PolyBee, to find out more about how it all began. Fruit and veg production is subject to many forces, such as climate change, labor shortage, increasing demand for fresh produce, and also increasing urbanization. You know, majority of the world's countries do not produce enough of these crops. So using cutting edge technologies to improve yield is not just an option anymore, but it's an imperative. So how do the drones work? Let's say for instance, if you look at how a bumblebee pollinates a tomato flower, it latches onto the flower, it vibrates its muscles at certain frequencies, and that is what ends up dislodging the pollen grains from the flower. Okay, a quick refresher on pollination. Tomato flowers have both male and female parts. Typically, bees would help pollinate tomatoes by dislodging pollen from the male parts, which are outside of the flower, to the female parts, which are in the middle. Drones, on the other hand, help to dislodge pollen by using turbulent wind from their propellers helping the pollen to find their way to the female parts of the flower without the need for bees. So Polybee was one of the applicants of the DBS Social Impact Prize uh, in 2020 and we were selected as one of the top 10 uh, finalists first up. And I've been having conversations with the DBS Innovation Group on a variety of topics such as venture building, strategies and fundraising, going about revenue and pricing models, and for a young startup like ours, having these conversations can take us a long way. So we won the People's Choice Award, and as a result of that cash prize, we were able to establish our first product development farm. This is probably the first instance where we can see uh, tomato wines being grown in a fully controlled environment in Singapore. To find out more about how the drones work, I speak to Venita, who is lead engineer at Polybee. So this is actually um, a wireless charging deck which you use for charging your phones as well. Oh, so the same okay. thing can be used for wirelessly charging the drones. Oh, fantastic. So what it does is like fly over each bunch of flowers and the wick from the propellers vibrate the flowers and uh, in turn pollinates them. We are imagining a fully autonomous system in which I don't even have to come in and like switch out the batteries. So it would just like land and charge. We're already working on strawberries in an indoor environment as well. And uh, the other plants that we're looking into are peppers. Not only are we maximizing the pollination in terms of uh, quantity, but also its quality to optimize the produced quality. And that's exactly where Polybee fits in. 